we are going to discuss about adopt on demand routing protocol yeah myself gadri priya assistant professor in the department of ece of rnd engineering college and let us see the outline of today's session in today's session we are going to see what is a reactive routing protocol its salient features and types and then we are going to see what are the limitations of dsr protocol and how we come into the aodv protocol and we shall see to the uh, example along with the merit and the demerit right so what are the features of reactor routing protocol so these reactor routing protocol otherwise referred as on demand routing protocol whenever there is a need we will be finding out a path that is the reactor routing protocol so here we don't want any storage of information so in this we are having two things one is route discovery the other one is going to be route maintenance so in this we are having various numbers of on demand routing protocol the first and foremost is dynamic source routing protocol next one you are having a odv followed by tora that is temporarily ordered routing protocol abr associativity based routing protocol signal stability routing protocol yes uh, actually speaking here, here it is not at all scalable to larger network your dynamic uh, source routing protocol will be consuming the time for processing the data as well as the route me mechanism will be very difficult the setup is seems to be very large and therefore a large amount of overhead so we are not preferring such dsr whenever we are having a network of higher mobility and that's why we are coming up for aodb routing protocol in order to overcome all these limitations here we can have the storage of informations for each flow of data packet transmission so here the intermediate node will be generating a route to the destination that is here will be having a route request that is to understand the path to a particular specific destination is possible in case of your aodb and whenever the request is reached the destination it will creating a route reply message that implies how many number of hops will be there yes a route request what happens when a node will be initiating to transmit a packet and it will be sending out a route request as a multicast message the neighbor will be keeping track of the message where and to where we have to make out the connections and accordingly a route reply message will be given back to the source forwarding the routes or form in the form of a intermediate nodes so next we are having one more thing that is your route error that is r e r -R. so here we will be having a less overhead when compared to the reactive protocol than the proactive protocol so here what happens if the message is not to be sent a error message will be sent therefore it detects a path of link interruption will be there hope you understand the basic concept of aodv how the aodv overcomes the limitations of dsr and what are its salient features and what are the different types of routing protocol available here and today um, and in the forthcoming sessions let us see with an example for aodv and uh, how it forms a a uh, route and how the route is being maintained all the things we shall discuss in the uh, later on session thanks a lot